All right guys, so one quick thing, I'm out here in the garage. What we want is just a simple piece of, uh, simple piece of plywood, and I would like that we're gonna, on this furring strip, just build it. All you gotta do is put this piece of plywood here, no paint or anything. Uh, I would probably consider taking this piece right here out just because it's so loose, and just butt that plywood right up to there, and uh, and call it a and call it a day and you could leave the remainder of plywood here because maybe he wants to use it for other places uh, I'm gonna head back out to the oh excuse me. then all you gotta do is just uh, take your caulk fill that crack in here and then just do just one thing of um, you could uh, just one thing of mud and just do a simple one simple uh, thing of mud right over in this area. I'd like you to just paint this trim right here white. You could put that piece of, uh, another just piece of plywood right over here. You may need a, a piece of one by to take this back across here and just put that piece of plywood across and that'll be done. Heading out here, I'm going to use a broom handle to kind of show you, but several pieces of the trim, I would like you to push this up a little bit and then nail it again. I would like you to take that silver nail out and then all of these other silver nails that are here, uh, you need to countersink those. And then same thing up here. You've got four or five nails right here in this corner. This needs to go up a little bit more. Hit it again with another nail and countersink these nails in here. Up over in this corner, kind of same thing. Just push it up a little bit. Then all you're gonna do is after you're done, caulk, caulk this entire thing up here. And then you're gonna We'll talk about paint here in just a second, but then uh, then I want the color that you're going to use on this trim. I would like that to match the front window, and I'm going to go over that in just a minute. You need to hit this ceiling one more time with mud and get me a good get me a good sand job, and then hit it one more time with paint, and then you're all set there. This trim at the front window, this is still made and this piece here on the side. So what we got to look at is up here at the top window, you can see two spots where the trim is uh, cut. And my thought is to replace this top piece, caulk, mud, and then you're going to have to find a replacement for this one here. And if they don't have the exact replica, then we may have to just uh, redo it and and paint it. And then back down here, this just needs to be sanded and then um, and painted. Now the color that he's looking for would be just if you want to take this piece of trim with you and color match it, um, you could find something similar to that color would be great. And then we want to paint it, and then you're all set. That's it.